The dragon is alive, which is great. <sighs> Why me? Today is a bad hair day. Hey Woodlanders, welcome to another woodlog. Slight change of direction this week from the woodland work. We are back on the making side this week. I've got quite a few panels to make and today's mission is simply to get the frames cut to length, assembled and then we can get them up the woods later on today. The rest of the week's forecast doesn't look particularly great so in my mind I thought if I could make these today then that means if it does come wet I can be up the woods making charcoal and getting these woven. I'm going to do some number crunching first. Well we've been crunching some numbers. That just looks right mess. If you can make Edna tail of that. They've read it where you have to measure twice, cut once. Well, this was measure six times and cut once because brain won't connect this morning. One frame down, bit of a head scratcher, but I think we've done it. And the other one is kind of like the mirror opposite of this one with very slightly different dimensions. I'm not the cleverest sort of fella, really. And so what I do with these frames is that the top rail is shorter than the bottom rail and the mid rail is shorter than the side rails. I'm always working it out, measurements, knocking off 46 millimeters and 95 millimeters here and there. Sorry, 90, 91 millimeters. See, I can't even get my numbers right. I come up with this brainwave today. So if, I've, if I know what the maximum sizes are, then all I need to do is put my piece of wood against my tape measure and knock that off. I'm kind of hoping it will speed things up and save me having to work things out because I cut one earlier and I cut it like two inches too short because I wasn't thinking what I was doing. The four foot wide panel, it's really quite difficult to put a mid rail in and that's exactly what this is. What you end up with, see if I can prop that up, what you'd end up with is where this central hole is, you'd have to have a, a mid rail in there. And then you've got to try and get four holes in there. Of course, the, the holes get so close together that you can't get your weave around without snapping the hazel. On this one, rather than having just four holes drilled in, I've got five holes, one, two, three, four, five. But it means you have to feed the hazel in. I did an experiment last year and it seemed to work. It was a bit of a faff, but I think the end result was a lot better. Because if you only have four holes in, the weave is quite loose. And I've had somewhere before where it just looks a little bit floppy, it doesn't look tight. I've done some experiments with the template and I've added that that measurement is for these mid rails, that one, and the base rail, which is this one, and that 46 millimeter is for these side rails. These panels are four foot six inch wide. So 54 inches, and what you do is for the base rail you put your marker up to there like that pop your pencil mark on your piece of wood that becomes your cut line and if it was the other way around let's say the height was 54 and you got to cut the side rails you would flat face there look so we got the the arrows there put that against your 54 and then 
pencil marking just there like that and that becomes your cut line it seems to work really well and I've no idea why I've not come up with it before should make my life easier I'm gonna sit there calculating it all out as long as I know the external measurements of the frame then all I need is my template Just popped up to get to the trailer out of the panels. That was on four wheel drive lock. And it, it actually struggled to get out. It was just a bit on the greasy side. got 120 rods in actually 110 it works out as just over 30 in a bundle so I certainly don't want to shortchange anybody they wanted four beam poles but I put six in because they want them as stakes rather than actual beam poles so there's a couple of bent ones in there Good morning. Today is a bad hair day, and so I'm in disguise. It's also raining, which on the surface might seem a bad thing, but actually, because of all the trees we've planted, rain today at least is a good thing. Today's job is to get those hazel panels woven. They do say it will stop rain this afternoon, but it's gonna be gray and gray and gray all day. Really. That was a messy job. So in the bottom of the dragon, this is my dragon retort, the water runs down, kind of runs round underneath, and the ash at the bottom absorbs all the moisture. It just turns to a mush. And anyway, I didn't realize it was that bad, but we've had, had a lot of rain, but that's like a barrel full of sloppy cement. That's it for today. You'll be pleased to know, surprised me as well, that the charcoal retort started gassing, which I didn't expect that, so I've just shut that down. That's all happy now for overnight. See you bright and early in the morning. Hopefully it won't rain too much. Remember, 
If it's sunny, bring your coat. If it's raining, please yourself. See you in the morning. All in all, yesterday was a bad hair day. However, you'll be glad to know that I feel like I've just come out of the salon. Why? Because you're worth it. Oh dear me, you can't have a laugh, you? I've gone cold on my head now, hang on a sec, I'll put my hat back on, it's freezing on me head. Do you think I'd make a good ad in a commercial? I reckon I've got what it takes. The locks, the looks, the charisma. <laughs> Welcome back anyway. Today's job is to get this finished, get this matching twin finished, and then I've got to empty the charcoal, so that looks like it's cooked, ready. The dragon is alive, which is great. I've not even opened it yet, so it could have failed, but I always like this time of year with the birds. The birds just make it, they're just fantastic sound. Love that. Just makes you want to get up in the morning, doesn't it? The sound of the bird, about five, clock in the morning they're all chirping and tweeting birds are up I want to get up now that's definitely not converted so it's me getting all excited that we had a conversion in about two and a half hours yesterday and we haven't so anyway what we'll do is we'll get this burning we post I normally have here for lifting the barrels out and swinging them around it's just snapped off with rocks Trying to smash myself in the face this time. Beautiful, look at that. The dragon is gassing. I don't know whether you'll see that in there. You'll see him swirling around. It's pretty cool. If only I had a glass door, it'd look amazing. You can see him watch that for hours. And that'll keep the dragon going for the next hour and a half. All on its own. I'll shut this lid down. It's funny yesterday I was talking to my brother in law Justin. He went to visit his dad the other week. His name's David. Lives in somewhere because it's Skeg Vegas and Justin recommended my channel David if you're still watching just a big thank you for been watching the, my whole back catalogue of YouTube videos which is quite funny really so if you want to be a David go and watch some of all of my old back catalogue of YouTube videos I appreciate that. So thanks David for watching.
what I'd like ideally is some sort of jib across here where you've got a crane, hook it on, bosh, swing it, down, done. Now that'd be awesome, but that's very industrial. And it's not at all rustic like we like it. So today's Wednesday. I've been trying to think what my one word Wednesday or my one word for the week would be. This week's been a pretty good week for me, but Monday I reckon I was on a solid 80. My one word Wednesday, my one word for the week would be progressing. How are you doing this week? What word would you use to describe your week? What word would you describe as you watch this video? Let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Bottom line is I hope you're doing all right. And sometimes people are not always doing quite so well. So if that's you and you're watching, I hope things are better. Things ebb and flow, don't they? Get better, get worse get better. Let me know how you're getting on. So that's our progress on this one. Not quite managed to finish it. There's probably two hours left maybe to finish that one off. This one this afternoon hasn't converted yet. I think the ground is just a little bit too damp really. But for now I'm hungry and I want my tea. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning! I have barely got through the gateway this morning and the van is already getting rather bogged down so I've had to abandon the van and trailer right up there which is a joke because I've got to bag up charcoal today and then carry it to the trailer try not to get the bags wet <sighs> why me? of all days to bag charcoal and deliver it's today and it's going to be a monsoon this afternoon so I've got to get a wiggle on look at it oh what a joke I don't know you got that for my waffle this morning today's job is that big order of charcoal the one I was blethering about last week we just had a great phone call from a guy who had some charcoal office at the weekend anyway it's come on good we've had the order but they want 25 bags, which is about 37, 38 boxes. So first job this morning, I was going to try and see if I can get the charcoal retort going again, the dragon. I've got these three barrels to empty, so I'm going to have to decant some of the boxes into bags. I've still got this panel to finish, um, and there's a chat coming tomorrow for that. So honestly, today is just one of those crazy mad days. Got a little fire. We've got our bags, staples, scoot, table. Quick update. The dragon's gassing. Great news. 25 bags, all bagged up. Great news, it's raining, that's bad. And the trailer's like 45 miles away up there. I've got to decant the boxes into the bags. Don't ever try and decant boxes into bags. Stupid. So the charcoal retort's on 480. That's simmering along nicely.
I know, I got here as fast as I could and nothing got wet. Well, we're on 355, so I would say that has finished gassing. Look at it. Last rod of the day. Thank goodness. I got so wet today. Friday. That's all folks. Remember, if you're able to, do what you can to look after our awesome woodlands and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Just over the winter period I did a couple of small panels that a guy was having inserted into his gateway and he's just sent me the pictures through so I'll share them with you. Good morning. Good morning.